Hey everyone, Sean Tierney here from theautomationschool.com and today I want to talk to you about some Microsoft patches that came out this month in January that are causing real problems with Factory Talk products from Rockwell Automation, specifically Studio 5000, Factory Talk View Studio, RS Lynx Classic, and others. Now, I wrote about this this morning, and basically, Microsoft released a ton of patches for uh, Windows 7, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, Server 2012, and 2016, all to address the Meltdown and Spectre uh, viruses and worms and whatnot. So, um, in doing so, they inadvertently broke some of Rockwell software. Now, you can see here in the article, I mean, this effect could be anything from just a nuisance error when you open up Studio 5000 to actually stopping View Studio, Studio 5000, and RS Lynx Classic from even working. And, you know, it's not just um, one or two patches. There's actually a dozen of them that, uh, that you need to look for to see if these are causing you a problem. Now, the first person to bring this to my attention was one of my connections, um, Bob on LinkedIn. He brought this to my attention because he is also an automation instructor like myself, and he had to have his class uninstall these patches every morning so that they could actually use the Rockwell software. That's pretty painful, right? So what I've done here is I put a link in the uh, article to Rockwell's tech note, and this is the tech note number that I got from Bob. Thank you, Bob, by the way. And uh, you can see here they detail you know, 14 different issues that these patches can cause. Now, they're working very hard with Microsoft to try to resolve the issue, but until it's resolved, you really need to know how to solve it yourself. And let, we're going to get into that right now. Now, the first thing you need to know is what operating system do you have? Do you have Windows 10? What version of Windows 10 do you have? So let's take a look at my system here. So I'm going to go down to the search bar and type in settings, and we'll take a look at that. And when this first pops up, it'll be at this home page here. And then I'll go to system. I'll go down to about. I'll scroll down here and you can see Windows 10 Home 1709. Okay. So now I know that in this chart here in the tech note, I'm looking for Windows 10 version 1709. Now, if you had Windows 7 or server, you'd go farther down the list. In this case, the two culprits are 6892 and 3291. So I'm going to look to see if I have those two installed, either one of them. So let me go back to settings, and I'm going to type in Windows Update. Here we go, Windows Update Settings. You can see right here, View Installed Update History. And then here you can see 6892. So I might have problems trying to run Rockwell Software on this, on this operating system, on this computer, if that stays installed. Now, I could try uninstalling it, and that worked for Bob in his class. Or I could try this patch from Microsoft, but it's not been tested and validated by Rockwell to actually fix the problem. So you could try either one. Uninstalling it may be a better solution, but here's the problem. Windows 10 really wants to push these updates out to you because they're afraid you're going to get hacked. So you could remove it, but then it could install by itself. And that's kind of a problem with Windows 10 Home. You don't really have a lot of control over that but you do in Windows 10 Pro. Let me show you that. So I'm going to go over here to VMware, and I got uh, my Windows 10 Pro that I spun up last week, and I showed you how to create um, for my VUSE Basics course, which is going into early access here any day now. Um, you can find more about that over at theautomationschool.com. But over here, right, I'm going to search on Settings again. And again, when you first open it up, it'll pop up like this. I'll go to System. I'll go all the way down to About. And there, I'll scroll all the way down. You can see I got Windows 10 Pro this time and 1709. Now, let's see if I have any of those nasty patches. Supposedly good patches, but now we know they don't let Rockwell software run. So we'll come over here and we'll type in Windows Update. And we'll view our update history. And let's see here. I am looking for 6892 and 3291. And good news, I don't have it. And why don't I have it? Well, as I talked about when I made the VM, I like to go into advanced options and I like to tell Windows 10, hey, update as little as possible. This is a VM for a course. I'm not going to be, uh, you know, on social media and downloading files and all this stuff. I'm going to be using VUSE the way it's supposed to be used to create a SCADA project and control a system. So uh, it's not going to be for my social media or online presence. So in that case, what I've done here 
is I've changed it to a semi-annual channel, which means it's the patches are ready for widespread use. And I've also said, hey, delay feature updates for 365 days, delay quality updates for 30 days. And in fact, what I'm going to do right now is pause updates. Since I know there's a problem, I'm going to pause updates for 35 days. So I won't get any updates on this VM until March 7th. And the good news about that is, hopefully by then, Microsoft and Rockwell will have figured out this all out and fixed it, right? And because this is not a computer I'm going to use on the internet, I don't have to worry about getting those viruses, you know? Um, this is going to be used in the plant, not for web browsing. I'm not going to be, you know, searching the web and downloading files that could or could not be uh, vicious. So um, I feel pretty safe in doing that. So that's it. That's this issue that a lot of people are running into. It. My students designed the report. It Iris Who's not working? Studio 5000's not working. View Studio's not working. So if you're running into these issues, check out my article today over at the Automation Blog and check out that tech note I linked to. Now, if you found this helpful, please consider um, leaving me a like and subscribing to the channel. And if you would like to help me make more videos like this, then consider donating $1 a month over at patreon.com forward slash automation. If you do, I'll give you $3 worth of free downloads every month, including episodes of the show. With that said, if you have any questions for me, because there are so many social media outlets and so many um, different places where people can post questions, I'm now asking everybody to leave them at my totally free forum, theautomationforums.com. I try to visit that every day to answer questions. And uh, if you know anybody who's looking for training, they want to learn how to use Studio 5000, Factory Talk View, uh, Iris Logics, Iris Links, tell them to come visit me over at theautomationschool.com. And with that said, until next time, peace.